You know, what we have seen is some very clear video of one of the people who was shooting. It is stark. It is disturbing. Uh, you see a, a, a man with what appears to be an AR-style rifle strapped across his chest, walking straight down the middle of the street. And then you hear shots ring out. There are people chasing him, saying he just shot somebody. He just shot somebody. That man then trips and falls on his own in the middle of the street, starts to turn. People are coming at him, looking like the protesters were trying to grab him themselves because they were saying he had just shot someone, and he fires the gun. He hits someone. That person falls to the ground. You see him fire again, very close range at someone else. He then gets up, walks down the street, and police are coming towards him. He has his rifle, his long gun strapped across his chest. He walks up to police officers who are rolling past him, and literally three officers in vehicles, huge vehicles, roll right past him while he's got his hands up with a long gun strapped across his chest after he had just fired. You can see him at least twice firing at people who were coming towards him, one of them laying on the ground in the street. We now know that there are two people have been shot and killed. We know that the sheriff has talked to the Milwaukee Journal, uh, and that sheriff saying that there were uh, militia members in the streets that were trolling around this town, and he called this vigilanteism. We do yeah. If you can keep people from throwing their guns at the crowd, <laughs> yeah, no laser pointers either. No laser pointers. They think that's guns too. That's what started most of it. Way back by the gas station. Shalom, Akin. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and highest honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shaiba, and and. Uh, Kodash, double honors to the Apostle Elders a Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Aki, I'm out there laboring and uh, doing this work in truth and sincerity. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, lot of things going on, man. I mean, we just had, um, you know, a Edomite, you know, basically gunned down another Jake, which his name was Jacob Blake over in uh, Wisconsin. And now you see in this incident, you know, so the the um, time of Jacob's trouble is pretty much here. You know, you know the 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 prophecies is is speaking. You know, we're in the time of a uh, great tribulation and a time of troubles ever since there was a nation. That time is is definitely here. You know, in uh, 2020, the year of prophecy. Okay, so. I just wanted to, um, you know, show y'all that clip, you know, because the scriptures speak about these things, you know, as far as the time of Jacob's trouble, which is you 12 tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, you know, we're in the time of, of war, you know, because you're saying how, you know, with all of these uh, protests going on, you know, and um, them... Uh, Basically, you know, you know, they, they're basically being exposed for who they really are, you know. As you, as the um, reporter in this clip, she pointed out that, you know, this, this guy has an AR-15 and the police just... Uh, moves right by them. They they didn't even um, you know, do their do their jobs correctly, you know. Because if if it was a a Jake, you know, you'd have been immediately shot dead in the street, you know. But this is uh Edomite supremacy at work, all right. And that's how you know this um this whole system is is corrupt. It's not you know for you Israelites to um, be at rest here. We have a greater rest coming. You know, that's the reason why these things are happening is because since this is the fall of Esau's kingdom, you know, Esau is doing everything he needs to do in order to try to establish that new world order that's going to fail. 
Okay? But we depending on our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know? And Yahweh Shai is going to be our way of deliverance, you know, to those who have faith in these um, times. All right? So with that, you know, I'll just um, leave it at that. And once again, all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. May you brothers be brothers be encouraged in the faith, you know, knowing that our redemption draws nigh. And with that, I say shalom.